Hi, welcome to my channel, PD Autumn Fishing. I am in beautiful Norway in the mountains, and I will do an overnighter in my tarp by this beautiful lake. Remember to subscribe and stick around. Today I decided to go with a tarp tent setup configuration because it's good against the rain and also the wind and there was a risk for rain this night and uh, it's also good when it's windy here it was not so much wind so I didn't put up any extra guidelines so what you see is I have one guideline at each side which is here anchored in the back with a tent peg and there's another tent peg there, and and it's a bit at the same at the at the back at the back there on the other side. And then I had the tor. I have the guideline going from the front to the back, and uh, two guidelines, one on each side, and one on the other side. And I also have the tent pens here, uh, and then I have uh, the last. The last guideline is here at the front, which is black, which you can't see really. And then I have a trekking pole in the middle. And it's uh, open at, at the front there, which is nice to look out. And uh, my gear is well protected, as you can see here. On here I have my, um, my sleeping bag, and uh, sorry, the, the backpack. And the sleeping bag is already in there, and I have uh, decided to put mosquito net because there are mosquitoes always in the mountains, which I put in the in the, in the front there. Uh, and uh, I have a ground sheet, lightweight ground sheet, and I have a sleeping mat and a sleeping bag, and actually also a pillow, and I also have some space on the other side here. Here I also can put some stuff. And there's plenty of headroom.
On this trip, I decided to bring my smallest gas stove, the BSR 3000, which is perfect to boil uh, about five deciliter of water. And it's uh, which one I use when I want to have some coffee or some uh, uh, boil water for the hiking food. And this is also perfect in the, in the morning when I want to have a quick uh, coffee uh, and only need to boil water for a coffee. Uh, yesterday, uh, uh, last night, I also used my bushcraft essential wood stove, which is very nice when I have uh, some time and I, I also have some, I want to have a fire, which is a bit cozy in the evening because it gets warm and it's, uh, it's a nice way to, to, to spend the night. And I bought some uh, pasta, a little water for the pasta, which worked very well. Uh, especially this fresh pasta, which only need four minutes of uh, 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 cooking. And it's also good to use a wood stove or similar stoves, so uh, you don't leave any trace in nature. And it's also a safe way because you, you can uh, collect uh, the ashes in an easier way. And if I would go a longer trip, maybe three nights or two, three nights or more, then I would only bring a gas stove because otherwise it would be too heavy with the wood stove. But the wood stove is perfect, especially in, when it's cold and dark uh, and uh, when it's not a fire ban, of course. Uh, and then that one is very nice to have uh, to make a nice fire and it's, it's also pretty warm.